feel this connection right now between your soulmate. We have the lovers in reverse. They're featuring with the Gemini. What's crossing is something has been revealed. We have the moon. They're featuring with the Pisces. And we have a lot of earth and a little fire around. So I see that in the past you gave up on a situation. You stopped breathing. You turned your back over a situation. Currently you're feeling very, very disconnected with the person you love. Maybe this was a very strong soulmate connection, but you don't feel it anymore because something was revealed, alright? There was something that was hidden that has been revealed. On your mind is equal give and take, alright? You want a balance in a situation, okay? You want both people to be equally invested into a relationship. You want to give to this relationship, okay? You want to bring balance to this relationship, to this connection. <laughs> However, subconsciously, okay, the reason for the reading is that someone is not investing in this connection right now. There is someone here who is not working towards this anymore, alright? We have eight of pentacles in reverse. However, you do have a new beginning coming in. You do have a new beginning coming in. What's the overall energy? The ten of wands in reverse. Someone's laid off a situation, okay? The ten of wands in reverse is laid off a burden in situation. Alright, let's clarify. Let's not clarify and clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse. So as the Ten of Wands in reverse is the overall situation, overall energy for cancer. Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse, please. Yeah, you laid off the situation and you left, you, you, you left a marriage, a commitment, or you thought there was a third party situation, okay? You, there was a situation where there were three people involved. You have three pentacles in reverse, okay? Again, I see a lot of leaving a situation, leaving a marriage, leaving a work situation or something. A lot of, I don't want to work on this anymore. Someone is just like, you know, fed up. Then I get a lot of fed up done, you know, like there could have been a very strong connection, like I said, but you're not feeling it anymore because someone's left. Someone said, you know what, enough is enough and I'm done, I'm leaving. Clap for the three of pentacles in reverse. Clap for the three of pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of remorse, regret, sadness, and a sense of loss around the situation. Either you're in this situation, you're in this energy, or just someone who's feeling a loss, okay? Someone misses you. I feel it even misses you. Clap for it. The five of cups. Clap for the five of cups. There could be a water sign that misses you. A little bit of water sign, another water sign, like I said, like a pair of cups. Like a pair of cups. Yeah, see? Definitely third party situation. Either this was a third party situation, or then three of cups in reverse to me is also where two people aren't being able to come to an agreement. Okay, like let's do this, like you know, or this is a lack of reconciliation. Someone's missing you. But it's just that you guys are not being able to come together. Uh, look, I have the Three of Pentacles in Reverse and the Three of Cups in Reverse. Okay, I have to figure out that definitely a third person was involved. Again, okay, someone was like, you know what, fuck it. Look, I have the Moon in Reverse also influencing the situation. So that's something being revealed, something that was hidden. Anyways, what about the sense? Can I put the Three of Wands in Reverse? Why is the Three of Wands in Reverse in the past with Cancer? Can I put the Three of Wands in Reverse? You gave up on a situation that you were judging, okay? That you were probably wishy-washy about, okay? You were probably trying to like a ba get a balance in a situation. Or you were trying to choose between two people, two situations, two things. Could be anything, okay? But this could just be you finding clarity about the situation. Clap for the two of pentacles. Clap for the two of pentacles. Yeah, and that's when there was no problem. Moment. So probably you made a decision. You gave up on a decision or probably someone made a decision about giving up on a situation and things came to a complete halt we have the eight of wands in reverse something just completely stopped moving forward okay could be traveling this person could be living at a distance from you and i think you were juggling two decisions like i said and then probably someone made their mind up and things completely came to a halt <clears throat> Clarify the levels and reverse. What's the levels and reverse as the current situation? Could be dealing with the Gemini. Could have Gemini in your birth chart. Clarify the levels and reverse. So yeah, someone was a cheater. Okay, this is clear cheating. Okay, the magician in reverse. Virgo Gemini energy. 
This is someone who's a fraud. That's someone who's got a trick up their sleeve. That's someone very, very manipulative. The magician in reverse is someone who is very self-serving energy, okay? They, their intentions are bad and they have the gift of the gap, okay? So they will talk their way out, okay? And they will not, they will not, um, they will do whatever it takes to get what they want, even if it is at the expense of someone else, okay? A lot of cheating here. Clarify for the magician in reverse. Clarify for the magician in reverse. Even if this is not cheating, that's a lot of lying out here, okay? The magician in reverse. Clarify for the magician in reverse. Clarify for the magician in reverse. And three of ones, and now you're waiting, and now someone's waiting. Even if this was not cheating, the other way of looking at it is that there is a disconnection in this situation, and someone feels it's absolutely powerless in this situation. Okay, like, I cannot do anything about this. You can, but this is the energy that the person is like, you know what, the situation is not in my control. And now, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sit and wait. We have the three of wands. We have the three of wands. What are they waiting for? Can I have the three of wands? Waiting for what? Can I have the three of wands? Can I have the three of wands? Yeah, waiting to regain control. They're gonna wait and they're gonna regain control. Either they're waiting for you to get make boss moves get, get control of the situation we have the emperor here could be dealing with an aries but there is a father figure here okay this is a married man don't go by the gender but i'm just saying this is the energy of emperor empress you know someone who's like a a boss lady someone who's a boss okay so now they're going to wait and they're going and someone wants to take control of the situation all right someone wants to have order and stability in the situation all right like you know what this is how it's going to be the emperor is extremely stubborn a little stubborn could be when he's in the upright. He's a little stubborn, but he's more about structure, you know, and how things should be. And not always my way or the highway, but what is the correct way to do it? All right, the emperor is a married man, okay? Clarify for the moon in reverse. Why is the moon in reverse? Why is the moon in reverse? Clarify for the moon in reverse. Whatever was revealed, like, right, it's making you almost slide into my depression or you're extremely sad there could be children involved and now there's you're surrounded with a lot of indecision around negativity the sun in reverse is also someone who lacks clarity okay so even if something's clear now you're in probably in even a bigger confusion okay if not there are just plain delays okay in, before something happens clarify the sun in reverse this could also be someone who's who's releasing their stress fear, anxiety about a disconnection which is making them very very unhappy. Clive and Sun in Reverse could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in a birth chart. Clive Sun in Reverse. Oh my god, again the moon. We have the moon in reverse. Clive by the sun in reverse. Clive by the moon in reverse. What the fuck is going on? What is this? Look. I mean, okay. So yeah, there's a lot of deception around the situation, which is probably getting you really up in your head. A lot of deception, deception of any sort, okay? Someone's lying um, about a situation, or someone's just, uh, you know, deceiving about their emotions. I don't know, that, that's a lot of deception. Try for the Six of Pentacles. What is the Six of Pentacles on Cancer's mind? Try for the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, on your mind. You, uh, you're on your mind. We have the chariot here. You want equal give and take. And probably you're like, you know what, when I don't get this equal give and take, the chariot is in reverse. Things are not moving forward. Uh -uh. I'm not moving forward with you. Give me give me equal investment. Let's balance the situation out and then nothing's moving forward. You want to probably travel towards this person or this person wants to travel towards you. But something's not moving till there is going to be no equal investment, okay? It's probably like, you know what, you give me and only me till then, there's nothing happening. Try for the chariot and reverse. Try for the chariot and reverse. Look, because someone feels, someone feels that something was unfair. The justice in reverse could be dealing with a Libra. Someone wants, someone feels something was unfair. There was an imbalance again. More cheating. Someone feels cheated. Someone feels things were not balanced. And that's why they want balance. And they were like, you know what, till I don't get the balance, I'm not moving forward. Try for the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? 
So if someone's not investing into a situation, then we have a success soul that arise. But someone's absolutely stuck in their head, they're not being able to move forward to them. Clap the six of swords in reverse. It's still stuck there. Clap for the six of swords in reverse. So probably there's someone who's not investing into a relationship, but at the same time they're not even being able to move forward. Okay, they're stuck. Clap for the six of swords in reverse. Clap for the six of swords in reverse. Clap six of swords in reverse. Because someone cut someone out. Queen of swords in reverse. A lot of air here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone cut someone out. Someone's pissed off. Or this could be an ex, okay? Queen of Swords in Reverse is someone very, very bitchy, okay? She's angry, she'll throw a plate at your head, she'll slit your tiles, she'll starve your cat for a week when you're not around. I mean, like, you know, it's like she's just mad, okay? She's mad. So probably the Queen of Swords in Reverse is like someone who's very pissed off. So someone stopped investing into a situation. However, there's someone who's still stuck. Okay, like, you know what, I'm not going to work on this anymore, but I'm still stuck on you. And that is pissing someone off very badly, okay? Or you cut someone off and that's making them very, very angry. Like, you're cutting me off? Really? Queen of Swords and Reverse is also someone, you know, who likes to, um, lash out. She could be, like, very angry, I said before. Clap for Queen of Swords and Reverse. Queen of Swords and Reverse. Clap for Queen of Swords and Reverse. Clap for Queen of Swords and Reverse. Yeah, but you're showing a lot of strength. You could be dealing with a Leo or have Leo in your birth chart. You're showing a lot of strength and you're holding back by not investing into this situation at all. You're probably more like, you know what? Yeah, fuck you. I'm still not getting back to you, okay? You're a liar. You're a cheater. You got me involved in a third party situation. I'm not doing this anymore, okay? You're not investing. You're holding back. You're doing everything that it takes to hold back and to tame the situation okay you're not giving into the situation you have a lot of power in you all right you're trying to i mean be extremely strong all right like i'm not giving in this time why will cancer experience the ace of pentacles in the future why will cancer experience the ace of pentacles in the future apply for the ace of pentacles you do have a brand new beginning here but someone's Again, the page of souls in reverse to me is someone either a liar or this is someone who's just not talking or someone who's holding back information, okay? Maybe someone wants a brand new beginning with you, a practical new beginning with you, someone wants a commitment with you, but they're just not talking, okay? Life for the page of souls in reverse. Page of souls in reverse is someone extremely defensive also, someone who's got like paranoia. They could be very immature in communication, extremely immature, okay? Page of souls in reverse. I have a Peter Souls in reverse. Yeah. Someone's holding back information. There is a brand new thing here, but someone's holding back information because we have the death in reverse. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Someone is resisting changes, alright? Or the problem is that there are still negative patterns being repeating, okay? Someone's not learning their lessons. Someone needs to make big changes. Someone is like on the word of making big transformational changes, but there's someone who's resisting this, okay? If there's a situation that's already dead, or there are, um, you know, the death does not always mean a transformation in, in a relationship. It also means a transformation in the way you think, your attitude, you know, the way you talk to people the way you look at relationships someone's resisting it okay and whoever's resisting it is holding back okay they're not talking they're not opening their mouth i think they're doing the same shit again and again and again and but there is a chance of new beginning life for the death and reverse life for the death and reverse all right we have the hierarchy to reverse there are chances that cancer you have a brand new beginning with someone but, there, but you're not uh, talking about it because you're resisting an ending to a marriage, okay? The hierarchy in reverse is someone who's leaving a marriage, leaving a higher level of commitment, leaving something traditional, okay? So again, Cancer, I saw this in last time also in your last readings also. There is a lot of energy about not wanting to leave a marriage or not leaving a marriage, okay? Or there could be someone around here who's stopping you from leaving a marriage, okay? Someone's cheated here for sure, okay? But there's a lot of, no, I'm not going to let you divorce me, okay? Someone's not wanting to give the other person a divorce. Although there is a bad, brand new beginning if you want. There's someone who's just being cheap. Page of Souls in Reverse is someone really stupid, you know, like immature communication, not talking. You know everything, but you still want to hold back communication 
and uh, you could be lying, you could play with a pinch of salt in the worst, a shitty energy, okay? Shitty communicator, someone who's playing constant mind games with you, okay? And that's why they're resisting an ending to a marriage. The heart of friends in reverse is someone wanting to leave a marriage, okay? Or left a marriage or wanting to leave a marriage. But there's a lot of resistance, okay? Like, no, you ain't going nowhere. On your mind too, you have the six of pentacles, okay? But things are not moving forward, okay? Things are not moving forward, things are at a stop, okay? Maybe you want to invest into someone else, but things are not moving forward because of the justice in reverse, which is you wanting a divorce. The justice in reverse can also be the part of a divorce, okay? I got a justice in reverse, I got a justice in reverse. Yeah. But you want to rush in. You're very passionate about something or someone, okay? You want to rush in, you want to take action. You know what I feel out here? I feel there's someone, okay, there is a married couple out here. Could be, it is not happy. There is a couple here, okay? One of them wants to leave a situation, okay? A high level of commitment or one, someone wants to leave a marriage. They could be involved with a third person that they want to be with, but there's someone here who's resisting an ending to the marriage, okay? We have the justice here, we have the hierophant here, they're both in reverse, they're both marriage cards, legally, legal contracts, okay? But they're both in reverse. Someone is wanting a divorce for sure, okay? They're not happy here. Even if, I mean, they just want to leave. They just want to leave. And there's a lot of deception here. A lot of deception, okay? Which is in turn making the opposite person happy. I feel this is plain deception. The moon in reverse with the sun in reverse and the moon in reverse. A lot of deception. A lot of things are not clear. The moon in reverse is also, yes, releasing your fear, stress and anxiety. But then if it were that, then you would have been happier. But this is more like, you know, blocking your intuition also. Someone's blocked their intuition big time, okay? Someone's blocked their intuition big time. They don't want to see things. They want to trust their logic more than intuition could be. The more in reverse and also someone, you know, who's just going to listen to other people, okay? Which in turn is creating a lot of confusion. However, someone's laid off the situation now, okay? Someone's leaving a marriage, leaving a situation which is making the opposite person extremely upset and either you guys are not being able to come to an agreement, like, okay, you know what, this is what we're going to do. It's just like, you know what, two people not on the same page, all right? Someone wants this, someone wants this, okay? But definitely there's someone who does not want to be in a marriage commitment and the other one is holding the other person from not doing it, okay? Or this could just be you, Cancer. You want to get out of the situation, you're very sure about it, you're not investing into it, but there's someone here who's hampering your decision, okay? The Queen of Swords in reverse, okay? It could be someone you've already left. Queen of Swords in reverse typically to me is an ex, okay? She's pissed off, but you're just being very strong. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, the Lovers in reverse is also an end of a contract, okay? Because you're trying to manipulate the situation also. However, you're waiting, you're waiting to take things in control, you're waiting to take regain control of the situation, you're going to boss up, you're bossing up, you're like, you know what, nothing happening, nothing means nothing at all, this is how I want it and that's how I'm going to do it. Someone's very, very determined to get out of the situation, that's how I can sum it up, very determined, very determined. Alright Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, follow, subscribe and leave your comments below. I'd love to hear them. See you later. Bye-bye.